Internet, what is really, really, really good? You know what it is. It's the one and the only, the triple, the G O D. And I'd like to welcome you guys back to another installment of Triple That Guy Speaks On. And yo, Common Rider XA number 17. And yo, let's just hop right into the business because we join our fearless, our fearless Emru, Emu, as he sit and trying to have a burger because Poppy then gave him a day off. Because yeah, you will probably need a day off when you've been sitting up here doing favors and jobs for this character. We trying to push at you really, really hard so we can sell these fucking toys because this is a show for kids that designed to sell toys to their motherfucking ass because that's just how shit works. Is that Emu was sitting there trying to enjoy his hamburger while trying to enjoy his hamburger. His hamburger becomes something different. His hamburger becomes a buckster. A buckster who will soon learn the name is Burgermon. And then a chase ensues. A, a really silly chase, which had me cracking up for multiple reasons, including the part where Emu fell, and including the most impressive shit I have seen in a long time, is that Burger Mind was actually running through the opening credits, which are sponsored by everybody's favorite homie, Donald fucking McDonald. Because, you know, Donald fucking McDonald. Hamburger. Hamburger. I should play Mugen anyway. Anyway, regardless of this weird mixing of church and state, and what I honestly think is a conflict of interest, that Donald McDonald and his homies are sponsoring an episode about a fucking hamburger. By the way, I need to get to the Mickey's because I heard they got some Grand Max on deck, and I need to get some egg on that because secret, not secret, ever since they start serving breakfast all day, all I do is get eggs on burgers now. I just can't help my fucking self. Just can't. But anyway... Emu finally chests up with Bergamon, and he then runs into a patient named Sakuru, who this buckster seems to be linked to for some reason we don't understand yet, but then here comes Taiga, and here comes what's her name, who I see that the show is also trying to push at this duo of her screaming and kicking at him for not doing the thing that she wants him to do because Nico's a fucking brat. And then they try to excise the Buckster and by excise the Buckster, even though Asshole Man isn't here, which which um which really breaks down to Carl on Duty Black Cop just repeatedly busting shots in his ass, cause you don't know. But then our true hero appears. Parrot, who they pushing like Roman Reigns on motherfucking ass. We don't know if we necessarily want it. Except in this case, Parrot's really kind of cool because, you know, Perfect Puzzle, that's, that's some amazing shit. And, man, knockout fighter, that's the bomb, but still. Then a fight breaks out and stuff. And then Emu gets his ass kicked really hard. And then Gash has just magically appeared. When we then learn the truth of Sakuru, that he, that we don't learn that this soon. But, you know, because I'm just hopping over plot at this point. Is that he works at the Gim Corporation. Is that... He gives Emu the hashtag Juju Burger. See, I like saying burger that way because I think it's funny. Burger, 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 burger. Anyway, we learn later in the episode is that Juju Burger was one of the games that they were working on at the Game Corporation before they said, fuck it, we could do better than, you know, some Burger Time fucking ripoff or whatever. Which makes me beg the question when am I getting my shmup gash at? Like, I've been workshopping that, like, in my own head, about, like, what would a schmuck gash I be? Planetary Busters! Go, go, save the stars, ooh! Planetary Busters! Gash at I shouldn't have done that on the internet, but I just did. So, Toei, you were free, not free to steal that, but if you then steal it, then you owe me money because I put it on this video. See? Don't use planet, the Planetary Busters Gash App without my permission. Send a nigga an email or something. Hook your boy up. You know what I'm saying? Holler at me. If you're trying to use that, ain't like your fan fix or whatever. I'm getting off topic. But anyway. Just to skip straight to the point. Is that this is the one of the episodes I've been waiting for because I knew it was coming. Is that given how Kamen Rider works... And how they deal with the villain and hero dynamic is that 
there had to be more than one way to clear a game. That clearing a game doesn't necessarily have to mean you ride or kick the shit out of something. In this case, when we get to later in the episode, is that the way to clear Juju Burger is to make Burger Mon an excellent burger. That burger looked really, really, really fucking good, though. Looked really, really good. And to backpedal a little bit, because I just remember this part of the episode, Asshole Man appears, and he's like, what the fuck are Buster doing here? Exercise it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! And they're like, no, calm down. He's cool. He's cool. Sit sit down. Go cut a piece of cake or something. You seem to be good to sit your ass down, asshole, man. Sit down. Sit down, hero. Sit the fuck down. That happened. Now the thing that happened. Also, Poppy and Burgermon did a dance or something and made a burger. It was cool. Anyway. The whole point of this whole review is to the part that I'm getting to. It is beginning. It's beginning, folks. The thing I knew that was coming, that I didn't want to say something to until the show was ready to show me that I was fucking right. Parrot's face turn. Oh, yeah. Parrot face turn. You thought it was just about Emu doing favors and jobs? Nope. They trying to turn this guy into someone you really want to like. So, how do they do that? Of course, the only person you know strong enough in the whole damn show to to bear the weight of giving Parrot a reason to turn face is everybody's favorite Lord God, the Lord God. What does Lord God do? Lord God kills an innocent buckster because fuck it, it's Tuesday. Or in this case, because it's Wednesday today, but you get my point. The whole point of this review, me skipping around the plot of the episode, all that shit, something, something, Nico, blah, 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 something, something dynamic with Call on Duty, Black Hop, something, 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 was to get to this point. I knew this was coming. There is no way that you would leave a power like that on that side of the game board. Pun intended. No way. Is that you really needed to give Parrot something to question. The the Lord God doing what the Lord God does in a way that even I had to question as a fan of our Lord God. Is you have now sowed the magical seed of doubt which will lead into the plot of parrot switching sides. This will then lead into my other theory of the tiered villain structure because it may not necessarily be that our Lord God ever goes anywhere to the very end, but it will give the show an excuse to either make Gim so... What is the word I'm looking for here? So unredeemable that you look at him as a true fucking villain and you know because I like I call him the Lord God for shits and giggles because that's what I call him. But I really honestly think what they trying to do with my boy with my boy with my boy Corrado is they trying to build him up so monster like that there is no way to go back. Because even with all the fucked up shit he's done by repeatedly dropping bodies, because you know, the Lord God giveth and the Lord God taketh away. If they are trying to build him up to be a villain you want to see struck down. Is that you would think that what he's done so far, including including the straight murder of Bakaso Bike Man would be enough, but no. They 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 gon they gonna have they gonna have the Lord God doing so much dirt. It's gonna be bury this fool. That's cause that's what they that's what the plot is building toward. And then again, like I said, in this episode seventeen, I give the hill turn six to ten episodes. And the reason why I have a big wide swath like that is because Emu's got to do the favor a couple of more times. 
before he get the power because the the bugs inside is gonna become too much and that's gonna have to manifest into something. That can't that old shit can't last more than three, four episodes tops before he gets the new power, which will be his me which will be his me season joint. So it should be interesting to really see like how they gonna build around A getting Emu this next power up and slowly gradually finishing Parrot's face turn. I have no idea when he fully turns face what that's actually going to mean for the dynamic of this show that I love dearly. But I can't wait to see it though. I can't wait to see how this show is A going to turn our Lord God into some redeemable asshole psychopathic villain. And if you really think that him being dangerous zombie wasn't enough, trust me, the show has more for that ass. Trust me. And how they're going to flip how they going to flip this face turn of Paris that the show just starts sowing the seeds in the plot for. So, to review our episode, which is a review of our episode. There was Emu, the day off, a buckster named Bergamon, someone who worked at the game corporation named Sakuru, something, something, um, Nico and Call on Duty Black Cops, um, I'm shipping trash, something, something, asshole man says asshole related things, something, something, unredeemable Lord God, something, something, you can, there's more than one way to... To clear a game, something, something, our Lord God, something, something, face turn. See? Not bad at all. And did it in under 12 minutes. But yo, that's it. That's an episode. I'm like, this this, ep- this is what, this is not like, you know, like last episode where I had to go through the play-by-play because the whole point, even though that we did, that this, that this was an educate, a plot education episode of how... There's more than one way to kill a Buckster, and what is and what's gonna happen to Emu next, and the face turn that's coming, and what they gonna do with Corrado. That's just this is just an education episode. Even though it was a nice, fun episode, new gash at, fun temporary power, whatever. This was an episode that that mainly sold the seeds for the face turn that the show is going to give Parent because it's the thing that makes sense. How they deal with everything else is how they deal with everything else. Six to ten episodes. If it doesn't happen earlier and doesn't interfere with Emu getting his mid-season power up, Parrot is going to switch sides. Not a matter of if or when. With that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. You know what it is. It's the one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D. And I'd like to thank you for joining me for another in-style mental triple. The guy speaks on with that. See you next game. Ha <laughs> ha!